Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Is Oak Explained. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the impact of the Apple and Google Chrome anti-tracking updates. So recently, uh, Apple and Google both have been focusing on ways that they can reduce uh, third-party data and focus on first-party data and also limit the uh, impact of cookies and their ability to track users. So Apple started doing this uh, a little while ago and they've recently added an, an additional update that is going to really limit the ability for marketers and advertisers to leverage cookies to target visitors uh, with display advertising. The same can be said about the new features inside of Google Chrome and essentially uh, publishers want to know is this going to negatively impact them and their programmatic or display revenue and the answer is probably not and if anything high quality publishers may benefit from this long term and here's why digital advertising is continuing to grow and no one is predicting that that is going to slow down in fact digital display advertising will surpass television advertising uh, by the end of this year as many have predicted with that being said that money is going to have to flow someplace. Even if digital display advertising becomes uh, less targeted in some ways than what it's been in the past because of the limitations on cookies, theoretically speaking, let's say, um, it's still far better targeting that you would get on radio, television, and print. You can still target audiences far better on digital than you can on these other platforms. That being said, Marketers and advertisers will have to adjust, but publishers are still in a prime position to benefit from those ad dollars being filtered out as people try to reach their audiences. So with Google accounting for the vast majority of display revenue inside of the ecosystem, this change is actually good for Google and other platforms like Amazon. So for publishers, the impact that could be felt from this potentially anyways is fairly small, but from the other partners that are in the space that could be contributing revenue, it may lead to advertisers and marketers looking to work with publishers more directly or adjust the ways that they target. But either way, if you're a publisher with high quality content, the chances of you benefiting from this long term are actually pretty high. And the chances of this negatively impacting you, whether it's the changes that Google Chrome has made to their cookie tracking or Apple in their Safari and mobile browsers, the chances are publishers, you're gonna work out to benefiting from this over the long term and are not going to feel any ill effects from these updates. So I'm Tyler Bishop. This has been another episode of Ezoic Explains.